last time I had chicken pilaf, it was at an airport. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it was not very nice at all. But today, Naomi, you're going to show us a beautiful one-pot wonder chicken pilaf with eggplant. Yes, yes. Mm. Very easy. And again, what I love doing best is quick and easy. Fantastic. Should we get started? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're just going to chop the eggplant. So mm -hmm. maybe two centimetre pieces. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cut these and sprinkle them with salt. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to do this step. This is a very traditional old step where mm -hmm. people used to think that they were removing the bitterness out of eggplant uh, by taking the moisture out. You don't have to do this anymore, but I guess it's something that I do like doing. Mm. So we'll just do that for, for tradition's I mean, sake, I yeah, think. Yeah, and I think also when you've got big eggplants, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it is quite good to season because it does take a, a little bit of the bitterness away. Yes. When you've got those little ones that you can get these days, they're, they're, they're not bitter at all, so you no. don't have to do it at all. Mm. Okay, so just giving that a rough chop. Okay, I've got now, a bowl. Now, we'll pop them in the bowl mm -hmm. and then sprinkle them with the salt. Okay. And we'll just set them there for 10 minutes should be plenty. Okay. And then we'll rinse them mm -hmm. and pat them dry. Okay. So, popping those in. So, just some salt. We go. Give that a toss. And then if you can just bring over the sieve. Yes. I'm going to pop them in there. Yes. With a double step, but that's okay. Okay. All right. And then Perfect. we'll sit those out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so I've switched the multi-cooker on, putting it on to saute and just getting that going. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get that nice and hot. And uh, what we need to do is finely chop the onion and the garlic. So I'm happy to do one if you want to do the other yeah, one. Yeah, I'll do the onion. Okay. It's up to you what size you like it, but just a fine chop okay. normally is quite good. And, you know, pilaf's one of those things, uh, they're fantastic at home. They're the one-pot wonder again. We love to do that, mm -hmm. don't we, quite a lot? And you can change it up. You can. Yeah. So, basically, it's a traditional rice dish that you then add whatever kind of ingredients you have mm. at home. Some of them are just rice. For this one, obviously, we've got our chicken and eggplant and we'll finish it off with some almonds and currants and Yum. coriander. So, it's really lovely. Okay. So, we've got some butter. Now, it's a lot of butter. It's mm -hmm. 50 grams of butter. You can adjust that depending on what you like. It's not a problem. And we'll just pop some oil in there too. And that'll help that butter from not burning, which Absolutely. is great. Okay. So, we'll just let that start to melt. Just give this one more little bit of a chop. Mm -hmm. All right. And in they go. See, that's nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll pop the onions in. You can do that. Now, we'll just cook this just for a couple of minutes. So, let's give that a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, and the next thing we'll do is we'll chop up the chicken. Okay, I'll so, get a separate board for that. Fantastic. So, it's about the same size as the eggplant, actually, okay. and that will all cook down in the rice. And we've got some beautiful chicken thighs here, skin off and I bone like, removed. It's fantastic. I do like chicken thighs in this type of dish, and you can use breast meat if you prefer, but the thigh meat just has that little bit of extra flavour in mm. it, so it is what I prefer to use. Me too. Okay, give this another stir. I have some cumin, we'll pop that in too, mm -hmm. and a bay leaf from that little cute little... Oh, there we go. There we go. I like the little bay leaf tree you've got there. I know. Well, I've been picking some of them off there, but I thought not too many. <laughs> Could have just be been bare. left with a twig. <laughs> okay. So while you're doing that, yep. in a couple of minutes we'll be able to rinse the eggplant. We'll pat that dry, and um, we'll go to the next step. Okay. Okay, next step, we'll pop the chicken in with the eggplant. Okay, and it goes. And I have two teaspoons of turmeric. Mm -hmm. Now, it does seem like a lot. Wow, that's an yeah. amazing colour, turmeric, isn't it? Mm. Now, we're just going to toss this to coat. It smells so good, doesn't it? Does it? I love turmeric. Fresh turmeric if you can find it. But wear gloves because... <laughs> it will stain. And I see that you're, you're using a spoon for this, yes. which is important because it does actually stain quite a lot. Okay. All right, so we'll pop this in. Mm -hmm. That's going to give this whole pilaf just a beautiful colour too. So I'm just stirring that to coat with the onion mixture that's already in there. Uh -huh. Cook for a minute and then we'll stir it again in another minute. And in the meantime, we have one and a quarter cups of rice. Mm -hmm. And I'm just using a long grain rice today. Okay. And we've just rinsed it and drained it. So we want to get rid of all the excess starch. Yeah. 
And you may ask, why do you wash the rice? Well, with a pilaf, you don't want it to be gluggy no. at all. You want it to the grains to actually separate quite nicely. You so do. washing it a few times under a running tap is quite important. It is. And what we're also going to do, mm -hmm. and it's up to you if you want to do it, we can start toasting off some almonds. Yeah, I could do that for you. So maybe a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup of almonds. Just lightly toast them yeah. uh, so we can stir them through afterwards. And we've got some currants here for yep. some sweetness. We'll stir those through afterwards. Great. Okay, so we have the chicken and the eggplant. We're just lightly colouring the chicken at this stage. We're not cooking it the whole way. Mm -hmm. So we have our rice. Pop that in. Mm -hmm. And then we have two cups of chicken stock. And you can use whatever kind of stock you like, but chicken's the best one. So mm -hmm. give that a stir through. This is one of those dishes, Naomi, that I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. You will. Because it has your veggies in it, it has the rice content to it and the protein. It's all done at once, ready to go. It does. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Mm. OK, so just switching it now to the risotto setting mm -hmm. and basically the machine will do the rest. Fantastic. And how long is that going to cook for? It'll take about 20 minutes. I think it's time to have a taste of this. It smells beautiful. Oh, good. And, and we've swapped sides because I like the yes. way that you put things in dishes. Oh, don't give, don't so. say that to me because <laughs> the pressure's on. That's okay. All right, so uh, just sprinkle through some of the currants. Okay. It looks great. It really does. That's good. Uh, that's enough? Yep. And we'll chop some coriander in mm -hmm. and stir that through and also maybe about half the almonds. Okay, so they're nicely toasted. Half the almonds. Coriander. And we'll just give that a good stir. stir. Yum. Smells divine. All right, okay. it's played up. Do your kids love this one? They do. And it's not too spicy either. I mean, you've got turmeric in there, you've got some cumin, extra crunch. There we go. Maybe a little bit more of the curry. Yeah, leader. definitely. And that's it. Oh Let's see if it's a little bit different from that last pilaf I had. I hope at so. <laughs> it wasn't very nice at all. I love the eggplant. That's my favourite. Mm. Really good flavours. It's mild, but you've got those beautiful hints of all those spices that we put in there. And you know what I think makes this dish? You've got those beautiful currants in there and the crunch of the nuts. And yes. I think that's quite nice. It's lovely. Thank you.